Hey everybody, welcome to Never Stop Building. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Jason. It's a very foggy day, and I'm gonna take my slightly embarrassing redneck towing truck here and go get my new uh, gooseneck trailer, which I'm pretty excited about because that gooseneck trailer is gonna allow me to pick up all my stuff that I left in Colorado, move it all to Maine, do a bunch of other fun things like buy giant equipment that I probably <laughs> don't need right now, but it's gonna make everything happen a lot easier. If you're just joining us here on this adventure, I pulled off my utility bed because I'm going to upgrade to a proper flatbed. But until that point, I need to have a temporary solution to get this gooseneck trailer. <clears throat> and I made a video where I, I sort of, I didn't fab it because it was just holes drilled in it by the steel shop around the corner. But I put together this budget gooseneck trailer mount for probably $200 less than Tractor Supply wanted for theirs. A little redneck bumper situation, threw some tow lights on there, so this is as legal as I can get it until the new bed arrives in a couple weeks. Until then, this is, this is how the dream machine is gonna look. I would love to get a brand new truck, but I can't drop 70 grand on a new truck. I wish I could, maybe someday. Better to run what you brung. So come along for the ride. I'm sure it'll be an adventure. Hopefully we don't get any uh, imperial entanglement if you know what i'm saying and uh should be a good time we're going down to kentucky so let's hit the road and i'll uh, go get this trailer I think that's gonna be stronger than the factory hitch is, so I think you should be all right. Oh yeah, I mean, I went to Tractor Supply and they had those, uh, you know, they sell those plates, those universal plates, they were like 300 bucks for it. Yeah. I'm like, there's a steel place right around the corner. I'm like, you'll probably pick it up for 40, 50 bucks. Eh, not now, it's like 90 bucks for that. Really? Let's take a look at this trailer. Is this it here? That's it. Oh man, that's cool. So you could put quite a bit of stuff on this. Realistically, way too much, yeah. Your truck will be screaming and crying before the trailer is to its maximum capacity. Oh, that's good to know. So yeah, yeah, you you won't even come close to it. That so, is cool. Yeah, pretty sweet. So it's got side steps on both sides, dual jacks, they're spring loaded, uh, spare tire up in the neck, folds down. Oh, great. Uh, toolbox, uh, winch plate right here. You're ready to mount a winch on Oh, that's on perfect. It, if you want one. Yeah, just drill. you just drill the holes to yep. fit? Just oh. drill the holes wherever you need, and then there should be a welded tray yep for a battery already so you can just put a oh, bunch that's of that's fantastic as far as service like what do i need to keep an eye on i mean it's brand uh, new but other... the jacks uh -huh. that's a big one and then checking oil and hubs so best thing is to just kind of pull this cap off and get your flashlight and kind of look see it does not take much at all oh you i want to be somewhere there. around these lines yeah you do not want to be over that top line but yeah. like as long as you can see a little bit then you're you're good what kind of oil uh 90 weight gear oil oh okay yeah, uh, but you have to check it when they're cold. You, uh, that's that's really it. This is big. Yeah, yeah, it's huge. I think cool. I I knew what I was getting sort of, and I saw my friends like he has a what does he have a Diamond C of similar yeah. similar size, and I was like that's a big trailer, but it's a big ass trailer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it, it is. It's a big ass trailer. No, I my well originally I was gonna go see so this whole this whole thing was this is. This is me learning. This is me living and learning. I got a container thinking in Colorado, thinking like, uh, oh, you know, this is easy. I'll just get a shipping container and put all my stuff in it. Yeah. People use shipping containers to ship stuff. So right. it should cost nothing to ship it across the country. Oh, it's outrageous. No, it's steak. I got several quotes like $6,400. Yeah. So I'm like, well, that's just money that you set on fire. Yeah. So, you know, obviously this is more money. But right. now I have the capability. Well, I'm not even going to move the container now. I'm just selling it because it's, I don't know. I don't even know if I need one now. They're just well, kind of a pain, but I could, I could move it if I wanted to. If you ever want to. Now can. I'm just going to throw my detritus on here and. Let's hook up to it. Yeah, let's do it. I mean... Oh. All right, well, we got the trailer hooked up and uh, ready to head back to Missouri. This is some 
substantial trailer. I think I'm going to get a lot of trouble. Going to get in a lot of trouble with this. Hopefully I'll make some money too. Alright, let's hit the road. Hey, we made it back. So that's great. I'm pretty happy about that. It's nice to know your truck can haul a big load even though it's a 23 year old truck. Definitely looking forward to getting this bed on because these wheels just blast mud and water all over the back. It's crazy. It was dry out in Kentucky, but it's still an armpit out here in Missouri. So this trailer hauled, I mean, it hauled beautifully. It was smooth. Having some weight on the back of that pickup truck smoothed out the ride quite a bit. Exhaust gas temperatures were pretty good. I kept my eye on them. You know, obviously there's nothing on this, but you could still tell it was pulling something. I kept it at 64-ish, 63. I didn't want to use fuel if I didn't have to. You know, the engine wasn't getting too hot, so I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, I see why people get hydraulic jacks on these things. Oh my Lord in heaven, this is a lot of work. <laughs> All right, check it out. Here is the newest member of the Never Stop Building uh, vehicular family. It's a 30 foot load trail, deck over, dual tandem, gooseneck trailer. It was not a uh, big problem picking it up. You saw my sort of redneck rig do that. To answer the question of why did I get this humongous trailer? Well, in the short term, it's to pick up all my items that I left in Colorado that's filling up a shipping container. And in the long run, it's gonna be useful for moving materials around, getting big equipment. Once we get to Maine, I'm, I'm gonna have to get, I'd like to get a bulldozer, a skidder, that type of stuff. Uh, I'm also gonna use it to deliver the projects I'm doing in Missouri so I can put the forklift and the large furniture pieces on the trailer, take the whole thing down to the site and drop it off. Let's take a look at all the different features here and, and see what's going on. So this is a 30 foot gooseneck trailer, or you could call it a 25 plus five, which means it has 25 feet of deck and five feet of dovetail. The dovetail is this piece that comes down here and then the ramps flip over. So you have basically a 10 foot ramp to get your equipment on here. That's a serious ramp. This is a serious ramp. We got two dual tandem, I guess it's, I guess it's just dual tandem, uh, oil filled 12,000 pound axles. So look at the size of these axles with uh, the Dexter linkage steering thing. Uh, I wanted to get these large axles. I had the option to get the 10,000. I figured, well, get the biggest axles you can because as you know from my little funny video about bringing the uh, generator out here, I kept blowing my single, single wheels on an overloaded utility trailer. So that little trailer is gonna be the runabout trailer and this is gonna be the heavy hauler. That's 24,000 pounds on the axles. I should have no trouble overloading this. <laughs> you know, I'm sure it won't take long for me to find something that I wanna bring home that, you know, fills up the capacity of this. Right now it just has the manual uh, jacks. I saw some people that did some modifications where they used an inexpensive 2000 pound winch motor uh, and a cog to turn this into an automatic jack, which is possibly a feature, I don't mind. I'm not gonna be putting it on and off a whole lot. They really like their branding here. They got the max step, so I guess that's cool. I can 
put my foot on that. Probably gonna pull these logos off. I, you know, me and logos, I, I don't really like branding on my equipment. You know, I'm sure it's a great trailer, but load trail is gonna go. Max step is gonna go. Max ramps is gonna go. It came with the uh, cold weather seven-way cable. This cool little brake controller that'll tell you if it's charged or not. I don't know if you can see the LED in the sunlight. Uh, spare tire and a nice heavy duty toolbox. Now this is really cool. A couple things about this toolbox I really like. One is it has a, uh, it has a little thing here to hold this open. And in here, it already comes pre-wired for a battery. So it already has access to the uh, hot lead from your seven pin just ready to go connectors. That's a really nice little detail they added in here. It has a battery tray because it, it has, it's ready for a winch. So that's gonna be another project that we'll be doing soon is putting a big heavy duty winch on here so I can pull some stuff up on here uh, when I need to. So all of that wiring and battery and connectors can be down in this compartment and through this hole and keeps the weather off. So I, I really like what the details they did there. Maximum 16,000 pounds, which I know that that's gonna be my, the load that I'm pulling out from Colorado is gonna be much less than that. Nice wood deck, really beefy. This looks like 3 8 inch thick rub rail with the stake pockets and the, the round things. So super versatile for holding equipment down. This is their low profile model, which means I guess it's lower profile. These sit the bed down lower, which I guess makes it easy to put stuff on it. Spring assisted ramps, lots of lights, nice little license plate thing. These ramps are huge. That spring assist does make it pretty easy. I mean, I, I this has got to weigh a lot, but that's pretty nice. All right, so a couple couple minor projects we're gonna do to this trailer to make it super versatile over, over time. We're gonna install a big winch on this winch plate and that'll let us pull whatever we need to pull up here. I'll be able to pull up the uh, stuff I'm bringing in from Colorado, heavy equipment, forklift if it's being ornery. I'll probably mount some super bright lights that can flood the bed and put that on a switch. It's nice because they have the uh, junction box right up here so I can bring the wiring in. And with the winch, there'll be a battery in the toolbox and the correct, you know, I'll, I'll go into that in that video about the correct uh, way to get that all set up. Pretty stoked about this trailer. I'm sure it's gonna bring lots of interesting things our way. And uh, hope you enjoyed watching. And if you have any questions or wanna know how it's doing, just hit me up in the comments and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.